hello friends welcome to sr german language institute and in this video we are going to talk about goethe a1 exam expression module speaking module okay we have already other three videos reading uh, writing and listening the link will be given in the description you can watch those modules uh, uh, by clicking those links and now in this video we'll talk about expression tile how is it what are the common mistake and how you should do it perfectly okay let's start it then let's not waste time and here i'm sharing the file let's talk about the first part there is tile ein what is there in tile ein zisch vorstellen you can see this word zisch vorstellen the examiner will not say give your introduction the examiner may ask you like können sie sich bitte kurz vorstellen or maybe stellen sie sich bitte kurz vor okay and students get blank they think like okay what is this because they prepared so much but they forgot the word for stellen zisch vorstellen is to introduce yourself okay so remember this word don't get blank don't go blank there in the exam so now in this part what is there exactly tile ein uh, you have to introduce yourself the points will be already given the points are like name alter land wohnort sprachen beruf and hobbies okay <clears throat> so how is that name how do you tell your name ish haisa or my name is ish haisa i would suggest use ish haisa anand alter ish bin 30 year alt land ish koma aus indian don't say these words okay don't say name alter directly start telling okay i will tell you exactly how you can do that hello guten morgen ish heiße anand ich bin 30 jahre alt ich komme aus indien ich wohne in pune ich spreche hindi marathi english und ein bisschen deutsch or you can say ich spreche hindi marathi english und lerne deutsch beruf ich bin now you can say well, you tell your profession ich bin ein ingenieur or ich bin ein lehrer or ich bin ein student ich bin ein hausfrau yeah miss tell your profession whatever it is and then hobbies ich spiele cricket und höre musik or you can say cricket spielen und musik hören sind mein hobbies or mein hobbies sind cricket spielen und musik hören okay so now after this the examiner may ask you various questions various questions like not many questions the examiner will ask you one or two questions only but how will be those questions like haben sie handy then we see the handy number or wann sind sie geboren when were you born they may ask you your email address you have to tell your email address or maybe they will ask you to spell something they will give you some word or they may ask you your surname and they will ask you to spell your surname or where are you from or they can give any random word to spell okay so you have to be prepared with these things anything related to number or telling spelling and all that you have to uh, tell that you have to answer and then the next part so this is tile i you get here five marks this is quite easy very simple the simplest part actually okay that's why i always say that uh, passing goethe's exam is not at all difficult now comes tile swai in tile swai what happens you get the card you get one card now here the question paper is little bit different but how is the card exactly let's say you get only this part okay so what do you see the theme thema is wochenende most of the people they ignore this part they don't pay attention to theme and they make random any question okay so i will say that you have to uh, talk about that theme and use that word given below you don't have to use the theme word word like wohren the word is not compulsory to use in your sentence that theme should be there and then zone dark zone dark word has to be there in your question so you have to frame a question here like zone dark and wohren the same so you what question you will ask here you have to frame one question and the another partner your partner will respond and then next your partner will ask some other question some on some other theme different theme and you have to answer that this is how the tile swai is so you get this card you see the theme wohrende and the question i know you already prepared the question and the question must be was machen sie am sonntag yeah so this is the most common question here then your um, partner should respond can say anything let's say if someone asks you this question was machen sie am sonntag then you would respond like 
ich treffe meine Freunde oder ich schlafe lange oder ich sehe Filme am Sonntag. Now, next word is Wochenende. Thema ist Wochenende. Frühstück. 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 What question you can frame here? Let's say there can be question like uh, was essen Sie zum Frühstück am Wochenende? Or wann essen Sie Frühstück am Sonntag? Or Samstag or am Wochenende. Miss at what time? Um wie viel Uhr essen Sie Frühstück am Wochenende? On weekend at what time do you eat breakfast? So there are multiple questions possible. Okay, so now we will not talk about every uh, word here, but what I want you to do, choose the word, I will say take every word now, sport, family, then Ausflug, Bücher, and in the comment box, write one question on that theme pay attention to theme so what you can mention in the comment wokananda sport and then mention your question okay wokananda family then mention your question okay or you can simply mention their sport and your question on sport family and your question on family let's see how many questions you uh, are writing like of course you will get many questions to read in the comments also as you are writing some other students uh, they might also have written so Let's see what questions people write and you will get different ideas like they get blank actually they think that they cannot frame any question but if you check comments you will get to know what different type of questions um, people are uh, framing you will also get different ideas if you are the first one to watch this video then probably there are no comments then you be the first to uh, you know put the questions in the comments then okay Good, so now you have these four words. Let's say if you don't understand some word, you got this, let's say, Ausflug. And if you don't know the meaning of Ausflug, then what you should do? See, uh, of course, you cannot use dictionary there in the exam. And uh, you cannot ask that examiner also. Means the examiner will tell you or not, we don't know, but you can very politely, you can ask, Ich feste das Wort nicht, or ich kenne das Wort nicht. Könnten Sie bitte uh, das erklären? Yeah, could you please explain that? If you ask, you know, very politely, then there are chances that the examiner will give you some description. Will not tell you the English meaning directly. There are chances, okay? I, I didn't say that you will definitely get some answer. But you can try asking politely. Anyways, if you don't know the word, but you can try. You can try framing some question on that, okay? And... Next, Bucher. So I'm waiting for your comments now. Let's see what questions you frame. Then again, the same type of uh, uh, page there. Thema is Schuler and the word is Freunde. So what question you can make here? Be viele Freunde haben Sie in der Schule? Yeah, how many friends do you have in the school? So this is one question. Now you try other questions like here, Lehrer. Computer, Sprachen, Essen, House of Gaben. Okay, please don't forget to, uh, you know, don't uh, ignore theme here. Thema is Schule. So pay attention to that. Then next part, uh, yeah, I'm waiting for your comments, okay, on this as well. So later, Computer, Sprachen, Essen, and House of Gaben. Five questions you have to put in the comment box. Then, uh, yeah, here, tile dry. This is the last part of this uh, speaking module. Tile dry, part three. In this, you get some image, some picture on the card, and you have to frame one request on this. So let's say the first picture is computer. Now, what request you can uh, uh, make here? Let's say, can ish bitte then computer nutzen? Or can I better than computer? Then can I see that computer or can I use that computer? So the next person will respond to you, like let's say, yeah, warum nicht, naturlich, miss anything. There has to be some proper response, logical response to your request. Now, if the next person is uh, asking you or uh, making this request, then you have to respond. Yeah, warum nicht, yeah, naturlich. Means that much is enough. But it should be logical. The response should be logical. Now the next image you see, the person is, whatever, what do you think? Maybe signature? Yes, it is signature. So how you will uh, make a request here? Frame request then? Yes, you got some idea? 
Okay, so I'm assuming you got this like Unterschreiben. Unterschreiben is to sign. Unterschreiben Sie hier bitte. Means please sign here. Okay, so this is the request. Uh, Unterschreiben Sie hier bitte, comma and bitte. Then uh, this is your request for the second picture. Now again in the comment box, I'm waiting for your uh, answers. What request you would make here? Now as um, we don't have any name to this uh, image, uh, you just put the request and we will understand on what image you have done that. And then I will uh, check if it is correct or not. And then, yeah, we'll correct as well. I will help you to, you know, correct your own sentences. Okay, so the second is this beer glass, this Blumenstrauss, oh, Blumenstrauss is bouquet, and this one, some calendar, right? So whatever request comes in your mind, just put in the comment box. If you are new, if you are like, you know, you are the first one to watch this video, maybe you can come back after one week or 10 days, 15 days, and you can check what answers are there, what comments, what people are, you know, what requests people are framing, what questions people are framing. Here we'll get lots of ideas. So this is how your uh, expression tile is. If you have any doubts, any queries, any question related to exam or learning German or this module particularly, you can uh, put in the comment box and then I will respond to that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was helpful to you. And uh, as you're watching this video, means you're interested in writing the exam. So all the best. And yeah, let me know your result also in the comments. If you write the exam, you get the result. Please don't forget to come back and mention there, uh, you know, your result. Like you got it. Fine. Yeah, I'll be happy to see that.